actress, writer, and foodie Kate Licorice is joining me in studio. She's going to introduce us to her one-woman play, Foresight, which is currently showing at the Cape Town Fringe Festival. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm very well. A little tired, but good. I can imagine. You did two shows yesterday. Two shows yesterday and two shows tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you must be exhausted. Now, why don't we get right into it? Can you introduce us to Foresight? Yeah, basically, it's about one day at a high school that changes four people's lives forever. Um, it's a play that, that takes an in-depth look at uh, violence in the South African schooling system, mm -hmm. bullying, um, the difficulties of being a teacher, the difficulties of being a modern parent, um, and what it is to, to be a teenager mm -hmm. in a world filled with, with um, multimedia where, where bullying kind of isn't uh, as physical anymore. It can be more yeah. emotional through social media. So it, in, it investigates um, all of those aspects from four people's different perspectives. Um, so it's not it's not a didactic kind of play. It doesn't force um, opinion down people's throats. Mm -hmm. it, it lets them explore the issues through these perspectives and then make their own decision thereafter. Wow, it sounds um, quite intense, almost. It's intense, but it's also funny. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's it's real and it's it's a little bit raw and it moves people. It, it makes them think. It makes mm -hmm. them feel. It makes them laugh. Makes them cry. It's um, good feeling theatre. Now you play all four characters. Like yeah. I said, it's a one-woman show. What's it like moving moving through each character? seamlessly it must take an incredible amount of focus yeah you, you need to be focused um, but you once you've played them so many times mm -hmm. they kind of you get them they're in your skin mm -hmm. so so swapping between them becomes a, more of a kind of natural process and yeah. all of them I, I love to bits because um, all of them kind of stem from me I guess my version of what those yeah. people are so it's very close to me but it, it's it's fun Wow. Now, this is the very first Cape Town Fringe Festival. Yeah. What's your experience been like so far? The audiences have been small because mm -hmm. it's it's a difficult time of year. People mm -hmm. are working, kids have got exams. Right. Um, so this is kind of the, the launch pad. It's the first of its kind and um, I think it's just going to grow from here. Everyone mm -hmm. who's come to the Fringe thus far has thought that it's absolutely wonderful. There's a fantastic um, place at City Hall mm -hmm. where, where the main venues are. Um, called the Fringe Club, which is a kind of um, pop-up bar. It's with so a, cool. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fantastic <laughs> with great pizzas and you know it, what's so fantastic is that, that there's a wide range of theatre. There's family mm. theatre, there's comedy, there's drama, there's physical theatre. So, so it, it really can be a day out, an evening out where, yeah. where people come and watch two, three shows, uh, bring the kids along. It's great. I mean it's all around the city, not mm. only at City Hall. But they've almost transformed City Hall. When I walked in there, I was like, wow, this is, it's such an experience. I don't know, I loved it. Now, what kind of feedback did, have you gotten so far in regards to Foresight? Well, people have just, they've been moved by it. Mm -hmm. um, different people respond differently to the different mm -hmm. characters, and, and everyone kind of has a character that they feel more for than the others because yeah. of their own personal life experiences. But it is a play that um, parents have enjoyed bringing their teenagers to, schools have enjoyed, uh, teachers <laughs> themselves have, have loved coming because mm -hmm. my, my teacher in it is, is quite exhausted and really? disgruntled <laughs> like a lot of, of, of overworked, underpaid mm -hmm. teachers out there. Um, but like I said, it, it doesn't force opinion um, onto people, it, it, it opens up a platform for people yeah. to, to have conversation, to think for themselves about an issue that, that is very prevalent in this country. 